Well, it looks like it's about 35 degrees Fahrenheit out, which is perfect weather for working on things. Sorry, dog. you got to stay. Back up. Good girl. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be working on my buddy Trevor's bus. This is a 80-something Chevy. You know, on this channel, we don't discriminate. We've got both kinds, GMC and Chevy. So, it's got a 6.2 diesel. It was originally gasoline, but the previous owner converted it. And the thing was running really solid. He's going to turn this into a camper deal. Um, he is not a locksmith. The previous owner was a locksmith. He decided that this was too much of a project for him. So then he bought that Chevy van, which we'll be working on as well. But first we got to get this one running again so that he can sell it. He uh, was messing with it a bit, took the batteries out to charge them. Uh, had some people come to look at it that were interested. Then the thing wouldn't start. So, of course, the people were not interested because they thought it was a running, driving bus that they could turn into a camper like he was. Uh, we'll get working on it. I suspect it's going to be something pretty simple. But, he pretty much gutted the interior getting it prepped to be a uh, camper and got a bed ready for it and some uh, electricals and all that sort of thing prepping it to be a camper now when somebody says that they're somewhat inexperienced about something they'll say something like well I can count the number of times I've done whatever on one hand well, me, with my level of experience, I can't say that because the amount of diesel engines I have worked on, I kid you not, is absolutely zero. I did a little bit of research earlier. From that research, I figure that this thing is just like a gasoline engine, as in it goes suck, squish, bang, blow. It's just that the bang part's a little bit different. There are no spark plugs on this thing. There's no carburetor on this thing. Found that out. Oh. oh. Yep, there it is. Man, this thing's got a lot of hoses. Oh, what the crap? Where's the carburetor? Uh, I think I'm just gonna put that. Okay. I don't see any spark plugs. Oh wait. What are those? These don't look like spark plugs. Where's the distributor? Maybe this is... Oh, with that knowledge, let me see if I can figure this thing out and get it started, get it running. Got the batteries disconnected. I'm gonna go ahead and connect them up in parallel. So we wanna continue with the 12 volts, but we'll have the extra, the extra capacity of the two batteries.
recommend doing that. got all the connections put back together. We have the two batteries in parallel, positive, positive, negative, and negative. We've got the ground over here. We've got the two positive leads coming from the rest of the bus to there. I'm gonna shove this guy in and uh, crank it over. See if we get some uh, crankage. Let's see, we got power, no power. Um, oh, maybe that, no power. Mm -hmm. right. Oh, we do have power, but we don't have any dash lights. What's going on? Let's see, can we start, turn it over? I think we need to check the fuses, because I'm not getting any lights or anything, and I would assume that I would when I turn the key on does turn over though so we are getting juice to the starter and maybe not to anything else well so I don't have any dash lights or anything I went to go look uh, for the fuses to see if maybe I've got a blown one and oh my goodness why would I expect anything less but a rat's nest uh, but there's the fuse panel oh it's kind of dark I don't know if you can see that there's a fuse panel up in there I'm gonna start pulling fuses see if I can't figure out one that's blown well first fuse I pulled is labeled gauges, which is, you know, the thing that isn't working. Oh, focus. And it is definitely toast. So I'm gonna go get some fuses. Hopefully, this is the only fuse that's toast, but uh, I'm gonna check the other ones just to be sure. Found two fuses that were blown. Replaced those. Let's see what we get now. Huh? Still no dash lights. Oh, it's because I turned off the battery disconnect. Alrighty, here we go. Now just try. Ooh. That did not sound right. I wonder if we just blew something again. Well, we blew the one for the uh, that I just replaced for the dash. So, uh... We got something shortened out somewhere. Everything I've repaired. The wires that I think are important. There are definitely still some wires down there that are burnt that I need to take apart the dash to get to. But I believe that they're just wires for lights and buzzers and that sort of thing. So only important wires I've repaired. I've also repaired, uh, I found like three burnt fuses. Replace those. One of them, as soon as I turn the ignition on, it will blow the fuse. That's for the gauges. It's one of the unimportant ones that I'm not worrying about right now. Um, the wiring for this thing is really janky. Uh, there's a lot of things in there that aren't hooked up to anything anymore. A lot of things that are seem to be unimportant and then other things where I can't really tell where they go. One of the things that I did notice too is this 6.2 has glow plugs. However, there's no glow plug relay. When you turn the key on 
doesn't cycle the glow plugs at all. That's what this button down here is for. It's wired up manually and you have to hold the button and that allows electricity to flow through the glow plug circuit, heating up the glow plugs. That is not working. Haven't quite figured out why yet, um, but since they're not working, I'm gonna use a little bit of this in here, see if I can get it running. If we can get it running without the glow plugs, then all we'll have to do is trace down that issue with the glow plug circuit and should be good. It's been about a week since we got Trevor's bus running. I'm gonna go ahead and move it onto the street, maybe spin it around the block, make sure everything's going okay, um, make sure everything runs and works okay and that it stops, and then I'm gonna park it on the street so it's out of the way. One sense. Plenty of extension cords. to make this bus cool. Uh, water pumps. Shrimp. Oh, yeah. Good. You even got fuzzy dice up there, I saw? Yeah, I got fuzzy dice. We got fuzzy dice for days. Garbage. Yeah, it goes right in there. Well, that, that goes through the air filter. I know. That's why I'm curious to see if it'll work. Light the air filter on fire? No. What the heck? Amazing! Goodbye! Please drive away and don't bring it back. So cool! Wild. It's a mystery machine. As you can see, everything works. Good little bus. Don't know why he's parking on the curb, but runs and drives just fine. Oh. 
Oh, we can't get out that way. Hey, you gotta turn the handle too. Well, there's no way to get out when you're inside. Yeah, look, look, you go like this. Oh. What you asking for it, Trevor? How much? Yeah. Four grand. All right. Our best offer. All right, you heard it. Four thousand dollars, and this beauty could be yours. Yep. That's correct. Buy my bus. Cool bus.